Ever had one of those days with a power outage and how your house becomes like a cave? There are no lights, gadgets, and even a warm cup of coffee unless you are bold enough to strike that match and work out how that camping stove, covered in dust, works. Imagine living that way every day not by necessity but choice. Enter the world of the Amish. While the rest of us are fumbling in the dark, they're calmly going about their business, unaffected by blackouts, blinking routers, or the dreaded low battery warning. It's like they cracked a code the rest of us missed. And the best part? They make it look easy. The Amish aren't just surviving without electricity, they're thriving. Their secret? Clever, intentional systems perfected over generations. It's not about rejecting technology outright, it's about choosing what's truly necessary and what isn't. Take solar energy, for instance. When you think of the Amish, solar panels might not be the first thing that comes to mind. Yet, some Amish communities have embraced solar power in a way that aligns perfectly with their values. Simple, practical, and purposeful. They don't power phones or electric mixers from solar panels. Instead, those panels quietly power essentials like lights, fans, or sewing machines for quilting. It's all about balance, taking what's needed without overindulgence. Solar energy has grown by over 40% worldwide in the past decade, and the Amish are quietly riding the wave, proving you don't need to be plugged into the grid to stay ahead. Wind energy? They've got that covered too. In areas with steady breezes, you'll spot modest wind turbines spinning over Amish farmlands. They're not giant, high-tech ones like you'd see in a commercial wind farm, but smaller, simpler versions. These turbines power water pumps, charge batteries, or light up barns for a dance. It's a dependable system, practical and low maintenance. During a road trip through the Midwest, I once saw a small wind turbine lazily turning in the afternoon breeze. It wasn't flashy or loud, just quietly getting the job done. That's the Amish way, simple solutions outshining our complicated ones. And when the wind dies down, the Amish turn to another natural ally, water. Streams and rivers running through Amish communities become sources of energy thanks to small-scale hydropower systems. A rotating wheel, a bit of clever engineering, and voila, energy, no giant dams or disruption required. It's power borrowed from nature, not taken. Unlike solar panels that sulk under cloudy skies or wind turbines waiting for a gust, streams keep flowing rain or shine. That reliability ensures tools stay running, homes stay warm, and life keeps moving at its deliberate pace. Talking of power, the Amish take resourcefulness to the next level with biogas. They have turned waste management into an art form by converting manure and organic leftovers into usable energy. It is like alchemy, but instead of gold, the magic produces a gas that powers stoves and lights. Imagine a world where yesterday's scraps fuel tomorrow's meals. That's Amish ingenuity, waste not, want not. And the environmental benefits? Methane that would otherwise escape into the atmosphere is captured and used, cutting down on greenhouse gases and keeping the planet a little greener. Even their homes reflect a deep respect for nature. Many Amish houses use thermal mass materials like stone, brick, or concrete to stay warm in winter and cool in summer. These materials absorb heat during the day and release it slowly at night, creating a natural and efficient heating system. Add in passive solar design, strategically placed south-facing windows that let in sunlight, and you've got a home that stays cozy without a single thermostat adjustment. Greenhouses? Not just for plants in Amish communities. The Amish connect greenhouses to their homes and funnel that heat inside by using sunlight to warm their spaces naturally. Straw bales, a brilliant insulation method, keep homes warm in winter and cool in summer using a material often considered waste. Sustainability at its finest. As much as we love our gadgets, smart homes, and instant conveniences, there's something refreshing about the Amish way of life. Their homes run on ingenuity, not apps, and their energy doesn't rely on wires snaking through every wall. While the rest of us panic during a blackout, the Amish carry on, their homes powered by the sun, wind, water, and even a bit of manure. Maybe there's a lesson here. 
We don't need to swap all our appliances for biogas generators overnight, but small changes can go a long way. Install a solar panel or two, try heating your home with a wood-burning stove one winter, or start collecting rainwater. You might be surprised by how much less dependent you become on the power grid, and how satisfying it feels to live a little lighter on the planet. After all, life doesn't need to be plugged in to be fully lived. That's a lesson we can all learn from the Amish and their way of living beyond the barn.